Hey guys, what's going on? I see Box. Um, back again here with another commentary. Um, it's commentary session, and uh, you know, like uh, this is gonna be like an around the league kind of thing where I just talk about what's going on and everything while the game's playing. I will not be playing the game. Um, just so you don't even have to mind it, you can just listen. Um, but one thing I want to talk about is the draft. New Orleans Hornets really had the best uh, success with the draft. Anthony Davis and Austin Rivers. Anthony Davis is going to provide that down low presence that uh, you know the New Orleans Hornets really didn't have this season. It's, they're in a rebuilding process, and the draft was the best luck for them. I think they did the best with that. Austin Rivers is going to definitely provide some help as well. They didn't need Austin Rivers, but it was nice to pick him up. And he will either be a six man or a starting shooting guard because I think Eric Gordon's a sh point guard. But um, Eric Gordon and Austin Rivers could have done it all by themselves. But Austin, uh, Eric Gordon and Anthony Davis could have done it by themselves. But uh, Austin Rivers is definitely going to help out of Duke. Um, so that's going to provide a lot of help. Now, my favorite time, like you guys know, my favorite team is the. Um, LA Lakers, um, and you know it's um, it's kind of it's it's been uh, it's been kind of tough for uh, us. I mean, um, Kobe, we still we're still doing good. I mean, we're still making into the playoffs, but uh, we just that OKC is a tough team to uh, to beat. So I mean, um, and really we didn't have any big draft picks because we uh, used them in trades. So the only draft pick we had was in the second round. Our overall pick was 60, but the round pick was 30. So it was the last pick in the draft. So we went with uh, Robert Scar, I think how you pronounce it. He's seven foot, 263 pounds, um, out of Gonzaga. I'm sorry, guys. I'm terrible at pronouncing. And um, you know, he was a senior. His reach is nine. And his wingspan is seven one, so I mean he's um you know not really much not really knowing much about this guy um he looks like being seven foot he looks like he could be a big down low presence for us helping us out down low because we do have that in Biden and Gasol but uh, we'd like some more help with that I mean I think. I think being realistic, Steve Blake has got our point guard down. Um, Ramon Sessions ha is is um, plays great during this season. He really uh, he helps us out in uh, big numbers. He puts up big numbers for us. Helps Kobe out. You know, Kobe's getting old. He's he's not he's not becoming worse. He's just becoming older. So you know, he's getting a little bit more tired. So he starts. They need to start helping him out more. Um, Biden and Gasol. Gasol is a uh, really uh, when he wants to be on task, he is more of that applies to Andrew Biden. Andrew Biden is that he's got to grow up and he's got to just um, when he doesn't want to play, he doesn't play, and that just that's not that's not gonna cut it for the NBA. So I think he needs to uh, he needs to really smart up and uh, definitely become better with that because. Uh, that's not going to cut it if we want to win another championship. Personally, I'd like to see Kobe tie Michael Jordan with how many championship rings he has. But, um, you know, that's uh, that hopefully happens. But, uh, I mean, his years are numbering. So, I mean, they, uh, and you know what? The Lakers are, their age is numbering. I mean, they're not, they're not the youngest team either. So, um, Kobe's old, the team's old. Um, so that's all I can really say about them. I'm I'm excited for the off season. I'm a proud Lakers fan. I will be even when Kobe retires and leaves us. Unfortunately, we have to face facts that he will leave us one day. But um, we do know that he will leave us one day. And uh, this is um, I'm taking the words right out of D D Coop. Shout out to him. D Coop said himself. Um, I was watching this video about the LA Lakers, and he said um. That's really when we're going to know who the true Lakers fans are and who are just the front runners. Because when uh, when Kobe retires, there's, the Lakers are going to have some tough years that they're going to need some rebuilding. And uh, 
you guys are a Lakers fan, we gotta stay strong even when Kobe leaves. I'm a huge fan of Kobe, but you have to stay strong with uh when Kobe leaves. So um, yeah, it's gonna be tough, but you know what? We'll uh we'll get through it. I mean uh, OKC got through it. They uh when they were the Supersonics, they drafted uh Kevin Durant, came to Oklahoma, and they built a young team that will in a long long time will become the Boston Celtics. I'm calling it right now. When they get older, they will be the Boston Celtics. Not saying their name is going to be the Boston Celtics. I'm going to be like, they're going to be like the Boston Celtics. So, um, speaking of most sessions, he's out there right now. But, um, but yeah, they, they will be when they're older. But they got a lot of time before that. Um, uh, so, the next video will probably be about the uh, finals. Yes, got to do a video on the finals. That will be next. But, um, but... Yeah, so the winners of the draft pick, I'd have to say, is the New Orleans Hornets. They got really two nice, nice people to help them out in their presence in New Orleans, and um, so that's that's good for them. Um, my Lakers, you know, we can't. I don't really know what we have for next year. Uh, I haven't even seen the players coming out next year, so I uh, hope we have a good good pick next year. Um, Excited for next season. I want to. I'm pretty, really excited for next season. No lockouts this year. Nothing's gonna happen. So I think we're gonna be uh, all good um, with that. Uh, as boom, splashing all your misses. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be good with that. Um, as the Lakers are leading in this game by much, I don't think D, D. Coop would like that. But um, yeah. So you know, um, Lakers. Stay strong. Oh, we're still pushing. Hey, we're still going to tight. We're still competing for titles. We're coming close. We just yeah, wrap it up with OKC. That's the only problem. We gotta we gotta slow down Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook and um, yeah. And uh, back to New Orleans talk. Um, if Austin Rivers, Austin Rivers could really become something good if he really works on his ball control and stuff. He could become a Derrick Rose, a Chris Paul. If he really wants to work on it. Um, I met Jimmer Fredette the other day. I did a camp with him, and uh, he, he was uh, pretty cool. He has a great jump shot. Um, so, you know, Sacramento Kings. Now, Sacramento Kings, I think I'll... No, I'll talk about it. We got a... No, I'll talk about them in the uh, next video. Uh, next video after the final videos. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to name this series, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, rate, subscribe. Wish luck, luck to my uh, L.A. Lakers. Uh, good luck to Kobe Bryant. Um, I want them to do big things. Good luck to you New Orleans Hornets fans. Because I know you guys really want... Um, you guys are building a great team, and uh, you guys just give it, just give it a year. Give uh, Anthony Davis and Austin Rivers time to settle in, get comfortable, and you guys will be something to compete with and definitely contenders for the championship. Because that's that's the wishes for every team, right? So, uh, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.